everybody, so I'm back with the Tempest Corset Review, and this is the second of four Wet K-Dated Overbust Corsets that I'm going to be reviewing. So here is the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So I just wanted to remind you guys that I have not received any monetary compensation from what Katie did or any other corset company. I am not a paid employee of any corset company. I am an independent corset enthusiast just like you guys. I just happened to get lucky. And um, I wanted to be really honest with you from the very beginning. Maybe some of you forgot that um, what Katie did has sent me samples to review, but I also am a customer. This is the Tempest Corset in the Sailor Finish, and I did buy this with my own hard-earned money. So I try to make my reviews as honest as possible, but remember that this is my opinion, and sometimes my opinion isn't always fact. I try to state the facts as best I can without, you know, taking scissors to this corset. So starting, as usual, with the length and the fit of this, the center front is 14 inches high and the highest part of the corset from the bottom to the apex of the bust is 15 and a quarter inches high. You might notice that this side look, kind of looks a little bit shorter than on this side and to tell you the truth I have no idea why it's doing that because when I took a measuring tape to it it was the exact same height on either side so it probably has more to do with my asymmetry than anything else. I am a little bit uh, more heavy set on this side so uh, keep that in mind if you have any asymmetries as well. Um, but moving on to the actual fit of this corset you can see that it's not really a long line corset, it stops at my upper hips, but I really like how much it covers my bust. It covers the bust really nicely. You can still see like a nice roundness of the bust, but it doesn't show off my cleavage whatsoever. I'm very secure in here, and uh, I really like how much more modest this overbust is compared to the Sophia corset. You can also see that even though there are no hip cores, um, there are slits on the sides here, and you can adjust the looseness or the tightness of these hip slits with these ties here. So that's really nice. You can almost customize how the hips fit on your body, and that allows you to cinch tighter if you can, you know, allow more space in your hips so that they won't be squeezed. It also gives you um, the illusion of a smaller waist because you can open up these hip slits and give yourself the illusion of a larger hip spring. So for the material, you can see that the outside here is this beautiful peach satin, and if I just open it up, you'll see that the inside has a white cotton twill. So it's three layers in total, and the lining is cotton twill, and also there's another strength layer in between the liner and the um, satin that's also cotton twill. Taking a look at this, you can see that the satin is made out of polyester and then the lining is 100% cotton. And if I hold the corset up to the light here, then you can actually see the outline of the waist tape right here. It's an invisible waist tape that's sandwiched in between the lining and the strength layer of the corset. You can see the modesty panel on the back here. It's attached on the right side and it's finished with the same satin fabric, so you have a really nice continuity around the back. Here on the front side of the corset, behind the knob side of the bust, it has this protective front placket that prevents your skin from being pinched when you fasten the corset up. It is not stiffened with any sort of bone, but it is fairly stiff, and by feeling the, um, the stiffness of it myself, I would guess it's probably a form of polystyrene. The construction is the same as any other what Katie did corset. It has this floating liner that's not attached to the strength layer or the outside shell layer, so it's just kind of sitting there on its own. <laughs> and on the inside of this corset you can see that there are little garter tabs, so one, two, three on each side of the corset, making a total of six. So you can attach your garters to it if you like, or if you don't want to wear garters with this corset, then you can see that it's just folded nicely up and out of the way. And just like what Katie did's other corsets, you can see that there are external boning channels here, finished in the same color as satin. I think, I'm not sure about this, but I think if you order a demi couture corset, then you can actually order your corset to have a different color of boning channels than the rest of the corset. Um, but you would have to check with them beforehand. 
Since this corset is covered in satin, you can see that it does have some horizontal wrinkling in it, and you can still see the wrinkles in it um, when I have the corset on. But honestly, um, I've seen this same wrinkling in satin with all my other corsets, both by what Katie did and by um, my other satin corsets by other corset makers. So I just really think that is a property of satin. Um, to tell you the truth, if you really wanted a satin corset that was, that was completely wrinkle free, you would probably have to buy a cotton backed satin, like a specific um, strength of satin. That, and also you would have to interface it and then fuse it to your strength layer to really, really keep it smooth. And that is way more than you can expect from any off the rack corset company, unfortunately. So you can see that the corset is mostly single boned around the bodice, um, except for right here on the side where you have the double boning to help support that slit right there in the hip. Um, even though the website says that it's only got 12 bones, I actually counted 14 in this corset. So you have five quarter inch wide spiral steel boning, one, two, three, four, five, and then another two quarter inch wide flat steel boning on either side of the grommets. And so you double that um, on the other side of the corset and that gives 14. So I just wanted to remind you guys, this corset is the 22 inch waist and it has the 14 bones in it. This corset here, however, it's the same Tempest corset except in this sailor finish, it's a 20 inch waist as you can see right there. And it also has the 14 bones. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on one side, double that to get 14. However, I cannot guarantee that an 18 inch waist corset or anything above a 22 inch waist corset will still have 14 bones. They may have more, they may have less, but I can't personally vouch for that because I only have these two. So moving on to the busk, the busk itself from the very top tip to the very bottom tip is 11 inches long. And then another almost three inches are made up right here with the grommets at the top. So it covers the busk quite nicely. This top section here with the grommets in it, it doesn't have any steel boning right there, but it is reinforced with some sort of stiffener, so you can tie this top part as tightly as you want and you don't have to worry about the material buckling or collapsing on you. So here are the grommets at the back and there are 22 two-piece size zero grommets. So the back of the Tempest corset is just slightly shorter than the back of the Sophia corset, which you might remember had 24 grommets in there. But over the past couple months that I have had this corset, I haven't noticed any popping out or fraying of the fabric around the grommets at all. And here's the undersides of the grommets. You can see that they are two pieces and none of them have split in any way so they don't fray the laces. Pretty good condition. And these grommets by the hip slits in the center bust are the exact same type of grommet. And here are the laces. Um, I have no complaints about them. They're made out of some sort of synthetic material that's braided together. They're um, about 3 8 7 inch wide flat laces and um, they're resistant to fraying. They're a little bit springy but not too much. They grip really well so you don't have to worry about the, the knot slipping out over time when you um, tighten the corset in the back. So the Tempest corset, new, costs £160 from the UK store or $250 from the US store. However, this sailor corset that I bought here, I actually bought this from what Katie did's eBay boutique. And I bought it as a second there because it used, used once for a photo shoot and I actually, I was really lucky because it doesn't have any frays or tears or anything in it. It was just a little bit dirty. So all I really had to do was, um, you know, freshen it up, spritz it a little bit with ethanol and uh, get rid of a couple of pit stains on there. And honestly, you could not tell the difference between this corset and a brand new one. And I only paid um, £67.50 for this corset. So, so that comes to about 107 Canadian dollars. So that is a fantastic deal. That's only about 40% of the original price. So anybody whose money is a little bit tight right now and you can't shell out $250 for one of their corsets, check out their eBay boutique. I'll put the link down in the description and just keep checking it like every single week because they're always putting new corsets up on there. Well, second corsets and they might be a little bit sweaty from a photo shoot or they might just need like a small mending job. They might have like a, a fray here or just like a seam that popped out there. Um, but you can really get some good deals. Now on to the bus test. Like before, I'm going to be testing it in jumping, shrugging, arm raising, and bending over. So let's start. So as you can 
can see I'm finished and I am still quite secure in here. Um, I don't really think I could pop out if I even tried. So the Tempest Overbus has a 4 for 4 in the bus test. In summary, this is probably my favorite cut among all the What Katie Did Elder Busts. So that's all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!